what's the crack lads we are back finally apologies i will get into it in the live stream later on today hopefully we do a live stream today hopefully i'm able to do one but we will get into it and why i was delayed and why i'm only back today so hopefully you guys have logged in we're going to just do a quick roundup of everything in case you missed any action and of course we're going to get on with our reviews as well today so we've got an 800 million downloads campaign that is going to be going on until the 10th of october and that's going to kick off with the rest of the new player packs that we have here. We still have our daily game. And just to give a quick roundup of it, man, and we'll talk about a couple of issues here that we still have. eFootball League, My League, all of this stuff is still the exact same. They've added a brand new campaign, which is celebrating 800,000 or 800 million downloads. And again, I keep saying that I don't think people realize how popular this game is. And the way that Konami have been pushing things, and I'll show you in a second... The way that they've been pushing things, it is kind of like showing us their hand as to like, you know, why this game is popular in certain areas and why they're focusing on those areas. We'll get into that in a bit more detail, right? But the partner clubs tour event here that you see, that is with all of the licensed clubs that they have there. So there you have them. And then you're going to get your ultimate reward as your 30,000 GP all the way to another 30,000 GP. And that's going to be position trainers on every second one as well with a maximum of 6,000 points or 5,800 points. The big thing with this is, is that your experience points of the players that you're going to be earning or the players that you're going to be leveling up is going to be multiplied by eight. Now, my prediction for this is that over the next couple of months with, with the next big update, sorry, that's the next big update, it is going to be, I think, that they're going to give more, um, they're going to give less and less player training, that you'll have to actually play the game to train your players. That's one way that they could do it um, by taking that kind of power back, right? We also have these still ongoing, and then we have the PvP as well. Smart Assist is back. The Spanish clubs here as well with the eight, and Smart Assist settings are off for this. Um, but this is the eight partner clubs again, but you also can use any of the Spanish leagues in this. The Spanish, uh, obviously, are Barcelona. They're, they're the, the partner club with them in the Spanish league. Um, but that's pretty much it for the events, right? There's nothing else really going on with that. The match pass is tied as usual to uh, the same with the live data update. So it's going to be next week that we get this update next Thursday that the match pass is going to be gone. We're not going to get a big update, I think, for a while, probably closer to uh, November, uh, maybe the end of October, right? Now, this 800 million downloads here, right? We are going to talk about a couple of bits and pieces on this in more detail, right? But that is basically going to be where they go from this. It's very simple to clear these objectives. There's nothing really else to do once you have the objectives complete. And I do think that they need to, you know, kind of fix that up a little bit, right? We also have been given a lot of freebies as well with this. So you get your login bonuses, of course, that you're going to be getting every week. And then you also get your Bruno uh, Fernandez's uh, download campaign card. And then we've got another couple of bits and pieces. Obviously, I haven't logged in for a few days because I've been away. Um, but that is the Bruno card there. In case you haven't logged in in a couple of days, you do get a, a free Bruno card uh, who's 84 all, all overall and... Uh, yeah, I mean, United are going so poorly at the moment, lads. He's on E-rating, so you're not going to be really using him uh, too effectively this week or maybe for another couple of weeks. The daily game is still ongoing as well, and then we have the new players. So I'm going to do a full review of these cards um, and try and get them sorted for you. This is the big one today, is the hard work and showtime cards. Now, lads, I would like Menu. Honestly, I would. He looks like a phenomenal card, a really nice card. His tight possession, his balance, his acceleration is right where it needs to be, but he also has 38 levels and good defense, with dueling as his booster, you could give him another booster, I mean, if you pop a couple of stats, I'll do a quick build of Menu and of course, Gabby, and um, we'll kind of, you know, they're probably the picks of them, but I do feel like that this is a good pack, right, because you've got double touch soul control, you've got flip flap to throw at him, you're going to have a very silky box to box, you know, he's 175 CM, he's light, he's going to move very silky, uh, one touch pass, low lofted pass, he doesn't have way to pass, you could give him that, but I will do a full build on him. You also have Gavi there as well, and you have Kyle Walker. Now, a, lot of, a lot of people are actually liking this Kyle Walker from talking to people. Um, it's a very, very nice card that can play CB, lads. He's got 42 levels, which is unbelievable. And he also has blocker, interception, slide and tackle, and fortress. So this is definitely one of the best cards in the game now, I would say, based on his stats. But we'll get into that a little bit later as well. And then, of course, you have Gavi with the vis visionary pass. This comes in a pack here with the rest of these players that you're seeing there. So it's kind of new sign-ins, our players that are, you know, like Nevis there, or on Gallagher, or else Jota, who's had a good start to the season, or Labaka there as well, of course. So that's the hard work, and the rest of these are still ongoing. We've already done reviews and builds of all of these card packs. And that's pretty much it, lads. The only other thing to talk about, and I'm going to leave it till the live stream, or else leave it to a separate video. The only other thing really worth talking about 
is the survey that they have released, right? So this survey here seems to be talking about a lot of smart assist stuff, right? So I'm going to show you right here quick. So once you get through just your basics, you know, what region you are, what platform you play on, you will be brought to kind of the, the main, like the main part of this survey, which is a lot about smart assist and talking about smart assist. Do you play with smart assist on or off? No, because I do season my chicken. So I'm going to say no. Obviously, no disrespect to anyone that does play it. And then there's a couple of like specific ones here we're talking about dribbling abilities. I'm going to do this survey, right? Let me know what you guys thought. I'm going to do this survey probably live or else do it as a separate video because I don't like glossing over this stuff, even though, you know, it might not make that much of a difference. I do still like to, you know, fill it out. Um, but yeah, there's lots of stuff here that we can do on this if you want to. Uh, we can do it kind of together, right? Um, so I would say that the dribbling at the moment, it does feel nice. Um, but I, I feel like that they're really looking to tweak certain things. And I also think that the reason that they're trying to do that is because I do think the next big update will change a lot of stuff because we haven't had significant changes, even though they've made changes to the game, it hasn't really changed anything really with it overall. You know, the gameplay is slightly different, but it's kind of like, I think the gameplay now from eFootball 24 to eFootball 25, it's like driving to a destination. You might be going a different route and a slightly different route and seeing a few different things, but you're still arriving at the exact same situation, which is mostly a frustrating experience, win or lose, a lot of the time, right, now the game is still fun, you can still enjoy the game, but I feel like that they need to switch it up a little bit, you know, it's gone too long, that it's starting to get a little bit stale, and that's, you know, from talking to people as well, and then last but not least, lads, so we will do that survey, right, I'm not just glossing over, we will do that and give it the attention it needs, the last one is that on Monday, this is the pack it looks like we're going to be getting, so that is it for me. We will be back. Hopefully I'll be able to live stream later if I get my work finished and I'm able to free up a bit of a bit of time. I'm very busy, obviously, in real life because I missed a couple of days of work. Um, so I'm kind of behind. But we will try and get a stream going and I will try and get the reviews up as well. Let me know what you guys think of the game at the moment and I hope to see you a little bit later.